Number 21. Complete and balance the following acid-base equations. And then they give us letter A. We need to complete and balance the reaction in which HCl gas reacts with solid calcium hydroxide, CaOH2 solid. Okay. Now, the good thing about acid-base reactions is that they're just fancy uh, double displacement reactions. So we're going to be doing this the same way in which we would be balancing or completing a double displacement or a double replacement reaction. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start over here. I'm going to write out my reactants, right? They told us that the compounds was HCl, right, reacted, so plus HCl reacted with solid CaOH2, okay? So HCl, and they told me that was a gas, so I'm just going to put the states, plus CaOH2, and that's a solid. And maybe, if I can, let's maybe put this a little bit up here because I'll probably run through the top here. Okay, so now what happens when this compound is made? Well, these are just fancy double displacement reactions. With double displacement, the outers hook up with the outers and the inners hook up with the inners. I'll show you what I mean by that. The first thing that you should do is get the charges and just write them nice and neat on the top. I love to be organized because if I'm organized and everything is right in front of me, I don't really make that many mistakes, right? Everybody makes mistakes, but you want to try to minimize them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the charges for um, the, the break points. You don't have to find the oxidation states for the individual atoms. Just figure out the charges of what came together when you made this compound. This is just the, the um, crisscross method, right? You had 1H, so maybe I'll put it up here, right? HCl. You had one hydrogen and you had one chlorine. Use those subscripts to crisscross back up. The one told me that Cl was a minus one when it made this compound, and the one crisscrossed back up telling me that the H was a plus one. So H was a plus one, and you know what? Maybe I'll just write it down here. I'm going to say H was a plus one, and Cl was a minus one. I don't care how many of each you have. Now let's do the same thing for CaOH2. Let's do the crisscross method to find out the charges. CaOH2, there was one calcium and two hydroxides. Guys, make sure that you memorize those polyatomics, okay? Because they're always going to keep coming back. This one crisscrossed back up telling me that the hydroxide was a negative one, and that makes sense. If we memorize the polyatomics, um, hydroxide is always a negative one charge, which means that if I crisscross back up, the calcium would be a plus two. So I have this, Ca plus two, and then an OH minus one. I don't care how many I have. I just write my ions, okay? So now, this is what I mean by Outers with outers, inners with inners. The outer atoms literally are going to hook up with the outer ones, and the inner ones hook up with the inner ones. Look at that. Simple as that. When you get more comfortable with this, you could just look at it right here and say, oh, okay, H hooks up with OH, CL hooks up with CA. Outers with outers, inners with inners. So now what I do is I just rewrite the new compounds. The yellows go together and the greens go together. So let's see. I have H plus coming in with now the OH minus. Standard notation is the positive goes first and the negative comes right in the back, right? But if I crisscross this down, we've done this tons of times, right? Plus one and minus one is just a one and one. This would be HOH, aka H2O. So maybe I'll put that over here. I'll say HOH, which is what it is, but then that is the same thing as saying H2O. 
So one of my products is H2O. It does not matter whether this is the first product or the end product. Doesn't matter. I'll put it in the front because that was the first thing that we did. And just know with acid-base uh, equations, H2O is made as a liquid. Plus, now we have to do the inner guys, right? And maybe I'll do this at the bottom here. Now just remember, positives come first. So you might be tempted to put the chlorine first and then the CA, but remember, standard is positives come first. So CA should be a 2 plus and CL would be a minus 1. And now I crisscross them. This 2 tells me that there was 2 chlorines. This 1 tells me that there was 1 cal calcium, so it's CaCl2. And that is the second compound. Now, according to my solubility chart, right, we've probably seen this, uh, you know, a couple of questions back, but according to the solubility chart, CaCl2 is actually aqueous. So I'll just put an AQ here. Now I have my whole equation, but now I just got to balance it. So let's try it out. Now you could do the, crisp, uh, the chart method. That was in the beginning of this playlist, but let's try to see if we could balance it by just, you know, looking out at it. Let's see. So the thing that I'm, I notice is that I have one chlorine on the left, but two on the right. I want to correct that, right? So if I have two on the right-hand side and I want to have two on the left-hand side, what coefficient am I going to put in the front of this one? Oh, definitely a two, right? Two times one would be two chlorines. But now that changes the ball game. I have now two hydrogens here plus two hydrogens here. So I have a total of four hydrogens. I only have two hydrogens here. So if I want to get a total of four, what would I put? in front of this hydrogen. Yeah, I would put a two as well. Two times two is four. Two plus two is four. So let's keep checking. I have one calcium on the product side. I have one calcium on the reactant side, so that's all good. And I don't really like how that, that two is in red. It's kind of like clashing. And then the last thing is the oxygens, right? I have two oxygens on the left-hand side, and I got two oxygens on the right-hand side. So we're all balanced. That's it, guys. We actually made a acid-base reaction, outers with outers, inners with inners, and then we just balance it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up and hit the you know, subscribe button or the like button or whatever. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, just going to keep rolling with it, all right? I hope to see you guys in the next lesson for more, for more chem fun. <laughs> to me, it's fun. But I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye.